Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into an important topic. Why political parties in Canada can't just make changes to the Canada Pension Plan or CPP on their own. Let's break it down with some facts. First, let's understand what the CPP is. The Canada Pension Plan is a public pension plan that provides retirement, disability, and survivor benefits to Canadians. It's a crucial part of our social safety net. Now you might wonder why can't a political party just change the CPP if they want to? Well, it's all about the law and the structure of the CPP. The CPP is governed by the Canada Pension Plan Act. This act sets out the rules and regulations for how the plan operates. But here's the key part. Any major changes to the CPP require more than just a simple decision by the federal government. To make significant changes to the CPP, the federal government needs the agreement of at least seven out of 10 provinces, and these provinces must represent at least two thirds of the Canadian population. This is known as the 750 rule. This rule ensures that changes to the CPP have broad support across the country. It's designed to protect the interests of all Canadians and prevent any one political party from making unilateral decisions that could affect millions of people. So even if a political party has a majority in the federal government, they still need to work with the provinces to make any major changes to the CPP. This collaborative approach helps maintain stability and fairness in our pension system. In summary, the legal framework of the CPP, including the Canada Pension Plan Act and the 750 rule, ensures that any significant changes require broad consensus. This protects the integrity of the plan and ensures it serves the best interests of all Canadians. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more informative content. See you next time.